This informational video is the second in a two-part series regarding the Manhole Rehabilitation Program. The intent of this video is to review the program from a technical aspect. Before discussing manholes, we must first define a sanitary sewer system. The sanitary sewer system is a network of underground pipes and other structures that collect wastewater from homes and businesses and convey the effluent to the local treatment facility. Within this network of pipes, manholes serve as pipe junctions, allowing pipe segments coming from different directions and elevations to smoothly send their flow downstream. Manholes also serve as an access point from which workers can inspect and repair damaged or blocked sewer pipes. A manhole is composed of some key components. On top of the structure is the lid which can be seen from the street. Below street level, there are more parts you may be less familiar with. Under the lid is the chimney, which brings the lid flush with the surface. Below the chimney is the cone section, providing the transition from the narrow chimney to the wider chamber. Below the cone is the barrel, which serves as the chamber of structure. And pipe connections of varying elevations, diameters, and directions all meet the manhole at the chamber. At the bottom of the inside manhole is the base of the structure, referred to as the bench. Inside the base is the channel. The channel is an open groove in which wastewater from upstream pipes can flow smoothly into downstream pipes. There are two common problems that arise as manholes age. The first is corrosion. Corrosion is the slow breakdown of the manhole's concrete walls by chemical action. If continued unchecked, it can weaken the manhole's walls. The exposed stone aggregate here shows corrosive gases have eaten away at the previously smooth surface. The other common problem is inflow and infiltration, often shortened to I and I. Inflow is when rainwater enters the sanitary sewer system through unintended entry points, such as a leaky manhole cover. And infiltration is when groundwater enters a sewer manhole through small holes and cracks within the structure. In this manhole, you can see brown streaks that show where water has infiltrated. This extra water does minimal damage to the structure. The concern is related to the operation of the sewer system. Rain and groundwater do not require treatment, but if they enter the sewer system, they go to the treatment plant along with the sewage. This excess volume is then treated the same as raw sewage. Repairs can prevent the rainwater and groundwater from entering the system and thus reduce wastewater treatment costs. To prevent I&I &I and corrosion, the village employs several different repair types each year as part of the manhole rehabilitation program. The types of repairs listed on the slide were discussed in the first video. To learn more about the Manhole Rehabilitation Program, please visit villageoflombard.org. The construction page includes links to a map of manhole repair locations. A reminder, the first video in this series explains how residents and business owners are affected by construction. Thank you for watching.